What you guys got another video here for you on how to recover files from a crashed Windows computer. If you're getting a blue screen like this on boot up and your system won't boot up, then you're going to need a couple of items. You're going to need a USB flash drive. We're going to put Hiren's WinPE on there and you're going to need an external drive to be able to copy your data too. And what we're going to do is use Hiren's boot CD, which is a pre-installed environment that's going to allow us to boot up to, to that Hiren's USB flash drive, which has a bundle of tools on here, which we can use to recover our data. So even if your PC is non-bootable, you can still use something like this. As long as the PC powers on, we can use this to be able to rescue our data. So hit the download button right here to download the ISO file. And then we're going to also need to download Rufus. Now doing this will also help you save hundreds of dollars if you sent this into a PC repair shop, they will charge you quite a bit of money to be able to back up your data like this. And this is all they're going to do in their PC repair shop. So save yourself a load of money and do it yourself. So what we're going to do is either download the portable version or the installed version. And we're going for the installed version here. From here, we've got our little USB flash drive plugged in. And we're going to navigate to our ISO that we just downloaded, which is our Hiren's WinPE. Now we can change the partition scheme to whatever we need. So if you're on a Windows 11 system, GPT would be okay. If you're on an older legacy hardware, you can use MBR, which is BIOS or UEFI. So if you're on older systems, you can choose this option right here. Uh, all you need to do is change the boot order once you've done this and boot to this USB flash drive. So I'm going to click start here. It's going to give you a little warning. We're going to click OK here to create our bootable USB flash drive with Hiren's uh, PE on it. So let's click OK. It's going to erase that USB flash drive. So bear that in mind, uh, but that's OK. And what we're going to do here is once this is done, we will need to change our boot order. But before we do that, let me just quickly show you here what we've got. So this is our PC, our supposed PC that has actually stopped booting. And you can see all of our data on here. So I'm showing you this just to let you know that this is all the data that you can recover from a PC, even if it doesn't boot. So if you've got a PC like this with all your photos, videos, and all your other stuff on there, then you just need to follow these steps and you'll be able to recover all of this and save yourself hundreds of dollars in PC repair shops. Because to be honest, this is so easy. So many people just take it to a PC repair shop and end up paying a fortune to have this done when you can do it yourself. So restarting the PC or shutting down a PC and then going back into the BIOS and changing the boot order to boot to that USB flash drive is something you need to do. So once that's done, it should boot up like this and you should see Hiren's boot CD PE. That is uh, the WinPE version of Hiren's. And once this is fully loaded, it does take a bit of time, so be patient. So what is a WinPE? A WinPE is a Windows pre-installed environment. It's a lightweight version of Windows, which has been ripped out and made very minimal. And it allows you to boot to this to be able to deploy repairs and rescue your data and do other things. It's quite useful and it's been around for quite a long time. I've made videos on this many years ago, but it's a very useful way of recovering data uh, from a system that is not bootable. So. I'm trying to change the resolution here to 1920 by 1080, but it won't let me. So that's okay. So we'll just carry on with what we've got here and leave it as this small size. You should still be able to see what I'm trying to show you on the screen. So from here, we've got our drives. I've got an external drive plugged into the computer and we can see here we have our C drive, which is our crash PC. And this is our Horan's WinP USB. So all we need to do is copy our user profile from our C drive, which is our crash computer, to our external drive. So let's go into that drive and find the folder called users. And this is our user profile that we need to back up. All of this is our data inside here. You can see all the data that I was showing you earlier uh, on a supposed crash PC. So this is all the data on that machine. So this is all that a PC repair guy is going to do. It's basically going to come into this environment like this and copy all the data over, or it will remove your drive from your computer and plug it into a caddy into a PC. So let's copy the user profile 
to our external drive for backup. And you can then pull out all of your data from your documents, from your videos, from your music, from your favorites, all that stuff will be stored in here. Now there is software that does this and I'll make another video showing you how to do that. But I've copied the actual user profile folder and now I'm gonna right click on my storage uh, external drive and click paste. It will then copy this user profile over to our external drive. And this will take a bit of time, so I'll speed this up for you. But you can see it's now copying over all of that precious data that we want to rescue. So from here, we can now go into our storage and there is the Brightecker user profile. And inside here, you can see we've just rescued all of our data. Now there is software out there that will allow you to be able to import this user profile onto a new computer, but that's for another video. But what we got here is all of our data that we've just rescued. And it's that simple. And PC repair shops will literally charge you hundreds of dollars to do this when you could do it yourself. It's not that difficult. Now, if you only have one computer, it's always important to have a copy of a USB flash drive with Hiram's boot CD on it so you can actually use this at any time your PC crashes. Now, there's another way you can do it using Total Commander as well. There's quite a few ways of going about doing this, but I'll quickly show you this way, which is also going to be copying that directory over or user profile directory over to our external drive. All I need to do here is select the C drive, which is the drive of our computer that has crashed. And you can see we now have access to the file uh, tree here. So all I need to do is highlight the Brightec user profile and then go over to the other side and choose our storage, which is our backup. And I can now create a folder called backup on our external uh, drive. So let me go ahead and right click here and you can see new folder directory. I'm just gonna call this uh, backup here just for quickness. And once we've done that, we can click okay and we're ready to go. So we've already got that Brightec folder on there. I don't need to do it twice. I'm just showing you two options which you can use either software or just copying it over manually yourself. Now I can just go back onto the left-hand side, highlight the uh, Brightec directory, which is my user profile, and copy the user profile over to the backup folder that we just created. Let me show you how quick and smooth this is to copy it this way. So let's go to this location right here, highlight this, now click F5 to copy down the bottom here. You can click on it with your mouse or you can click F5 and it's telling us it wants to copy this to our E drive. Yours might be a different drive letter and it's called backup and it's gonna copy all of the files and that's where it's gonna put it all. So let's go in there and say okay and this will allow us to copy this over. So let's click okay and this will speed the process up just to make it quicker for you. But you'll see this will be really fast and we should be able to copy all of that data over. So whether you do it the manual way or use Total Commander is perfectly fine. If you want to reuse this user profile, then you can use other software. If you want to see a video on that, then let me know in the comments section down below. But you can see we have all of that data and files all saved here on our external drive. And that's it. So if you're in a situation where your PC doesn't boot and you want to get your data off or your files off, then what you need to do is create Hiren's uh, boot CD, PE. Now, if you only have one computer, it's important that you have this all ready to hand and you can buy USB flash drives pretty cheap on Amazon and basically create one of these and keep it on the side. So that way, if it ever happens to you, you'll be able to boot straight up to it and rescue all your data. This could be your coursework, your emails, whatever it is that you've got on the system, uh, you can back it up. It's that simple and it will save you hundreds of dollars. Anyway, with that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name is Ben Brian for brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.